Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Welcome to episode 9 of Learn to Write Sci-Fi. Now this whole series is completely here to help you become an actual published author. Alright, so yesterday we got into some different stuff that we were talking about, about why you should become a self-published author, and, and that video goes a little bit more in detail about my opinion on why you should be self-published. If you've never been published before, it's a really smart thing to do, at least to kind of get your foot in the door you know, business-wise, all right? So today, as you guys are still working on your plots and still working on your outlines for your story, I wanted to kind of go over a little bit of my way of creating plot twists, all right? So again, caveat, this is just my way of doing it. Every writer and author is gonna have a different way of doing it. Um, there's no right way. Uh, it's just whatever works for you. But I just wanna let you guys know what my way is if you're new to writing, right? Okay, so, as I'm figuring out the plot, I figure out, okay, what do I want the story to do? What story do I want to tell, right? And I've already got my main character by now, hopefully, <laughs> kind of established, kind of figured out. And uh, I'll start thinking, okay, so I know what the ending is. Myself, I typically like to have some sort of plot twist in pretty much every one of my short stories. I think that helps them be more creative. I think it helps them become more memorable and more enjoyable and entertaining for the reader, which again, you know, goes way back to one of the very first videos I was doing. If you're not entertaining your readers, if they're not having a good time, then they're probably not gonna finish. And if they do finish, they're probably not gonna get something else from you. And that's, you know, what we do as authors is we are entertaining. Yes, we can put in teaching points and, you know, uh, political commentary, we can do all kinds of things kind of under cover of the story, but it's still at the end of the day has to entertain the reader, right? So plot twists. So I was thinking about this before I started the video and I kind of just <laughs> feel my way through. And I'll explain a little bit, but a lot of the stuff, the way that I write, and I know this makes it kind of annoying, and this is something you might just have to practice a little bit is that like when I'm telling a story and I'm, I'm kind of laying it out, you know, it's definitely good when you write a plot to probably take a day or so of a break and then come back to it or kind of just look at it with fresh eyes. Because if you kind of just power through, like, okay, I'm gonna come up with the main character, I'm gonna come up with a plot, I'm just gonna start writing. That's not a bad idea. But you, and you probably won't even finish the whole story anyway, but if you come back to it and you kind of read it over and you're kind of reading how it's gonna end, you might have some different takes on it and you might be able to tweak it a little bit more that makes it that much more powerful and impactful and entertaining for the reader. So when it comes to plot twists, I like to pepper delicately, pepper whatever the plot twist is going to be at the beginning of the story or somewhere towards the first third of the story. The reason being is one, typically, like in real life, if you're a detective, you know, you're gonna be going on your case and you're gonna find people, which would be in, in the story sense, characters that were not anywhere of any sort of your evidence. You know, it'll, it'll be like just some random guy and you'll be like, who the heck is this? Oh, well, and then you, then you do finger finding and you figure it out. But in, in stories, in writing, in movies, in television, the audience really doesn't like it. <laughs> and typically, if the villain or, you know, the antagonist or whoever at the end of it happens to be somebody that they had no idea. So you do need to make sure that if it, your antagonist is a character, is an actual person and not like an element, you do need to introduce them in some way, definitely within the first third of the story. Because otherwise there's no buildup. And they don't need to know that it's the bad guy or bad lady or, or the villain or whatever, but they have to have already sort of been introduced. Um, and But besides that, I really like when I'm doing plot twists to co sort of put little tiny details so that the reader probably won't catch all of those in the beginning. And I don't want to give anything away. I definitely like the plot twist to be something where they're like, you know, I really didn't see that coming, but it made sense. That to me means I succeeded. Because if, they, if they're reading it and they're like, oh yeah, I call that out like page one, I'm like, well, crap. I messed up because I gave it away too early and too easily and it was just too obvious. But on the other hand, I didn't succeed as an author if they get to the plot twist, you know, whenever that is in the story and they're like, I, I didn't see that coming and, and I honestly, I didn't really think that it worked and I didn't like it, then I messed up. So 
and that's something trial and error but just you know I pepper a little bit a little bit of details here and there uh, little hints and what I like to do for myself is when I'm you know spreading out some of these little fine details or little hints uh, I like it so that if anyone were to read the story again and because it is a short story and I mean you can read a 30 to 50 page short story depending on how fast you read an hour to two hours easily so there's definitely grounds if you wrote a good enough story that they might actually want to read it again and they might then start picking up on some other details and some other hints that you left and it adds a little bit more depth and it adds a little bit of I'll say freshness I guess in a way to the story because they're reading it and they're still getting something out of it it's not the exact same thing where they caught everything the first time so that to me is the way that I like to do my plot twist I like it to be you know I would like it them not to see it coming a hundred percent but when it does happen it works you have to make sure that whatever the plot twist is going to be as far as if it's a character like oh it's a surprise villain that character has to have already been introduced in some way earlier in the story and they don't have to be a main character they could be somebody that was introduced you know they somehow have a little bit of dialogue with the main character and then they're gone and then somehow they're brought back there's different things that you can do but th that's my way of doing things uh, if um, you know, like let's say for example, if your if your antagonist uh, or whatever the element is that's against your main character happens to be like nature, yeah, there can't really probably be a plot twist, you know, of you know nature was building against them or something because that doesn't work that way. But you could, um, if there's a plot twist there, there's definitely different things that you could do to keep it kind of making sense, right? So. That's just my way of doing things. If you guys have any other comments or questions about Plot Twist, if you need any help with it, I'm happy to give you a little bit of, of insight. You can leave the comments down below. If you're following us or would like to follow us on Facebook, it is Learn to Write Sci-Fi. That is our page. You can like and follow us there. And then if you'd like to follow us on YouTube, it is White Light Media. Thank you guys very much. We're still working on this 30-day challenge. We're on day nine now, which is fantastic. We're almost... Not really. I guess we still have like another six days before we're at the halfway point. I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, guys, see you guys all again tomorrow, and uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>